Welcome back, everyone, to the anime news of the week. Let's get right into it, starting with news about everyone's favorite anime movie of the year, Your Name, which uh, has a spin-off novel in Japan called Your Name, Another Side, Earthbound. Announcement came out this week that a manga adaptation will be launching uh, July 25th, so less than a month away from now. The spin-off novel focuses on uh, side characters uh, and other sort of side stories relating to the story of the anime films. You can see how things happen with some of these other uh, other stories. Um, the author, whose name is Arata Kano, already wrote uh, novelizations for Voices of a Distant Star and Place Promised, and also wrote a spin-off novel for 5 centimeters per second. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it also features art by the character designer for the film, Masayoshi Tanaka, which is pretty cool. So um, uh, even better for us over here in North America, Yen Press has licensed the novel, um, and uh, so uh, that's pretty uh, pretty darn cool. And uh, hopefully um, we will get to see this spinoff at some point in the future. Meanwhile, we have, uh, boy, Amazon is really pushing their anime side of things. Um, Amazon has announced on Friday um, that it will begin um, streaming uh, titles from the Anime-ism programming block that is on MBS, TBS, and BSTBS, uh, which are Japanese TV stations. Um, they'll be on t in over 200 countries around the world through Amazon Prime Video. So this Animeism block is the one that aired Code Geass, uh, Darker Than Black, Macross Frontier, Black Butler, Penguin Drum, Kill a Kill, Madoka Magica, Yuki Yuna is a Hero, Knights of Sidonia. Um, and so, yeah, they, they tend to do some, some of the more serious, more... Um, I would say, like, less young-focused. I mean, some of those are still aimed at kind of a teen audience. But still, that's pretty uh, pretty cool that they're getting all of it. Um, they will be the ones streaming it everywhere in the world, which is kind of amazing. Um, also related to that, they announced that they will be um, streaming Welcome to the Ballroom exclusively. So the only place where you will be able to watch um, Welcome to the Ballroom this anime series is on Amazon Prime Video, even if you're in Japan. Wow. So, yeah, Amazon's definitely tightening up their grip on all this stuff. That's really, really interesting. So, we'll see um, where that goes. But definitely, you know, get your Prime subscription now if you want some of these, uh, uh, these anime, apparently. Moving on, um, famous mangaka Junji Ito is getting an anime adaptation of one of his works. Uh, we don't know which one, unfortunately. Uh, Junji Ito is known for making um, Cat Diary, Dissolving Classroom, uh, Tomie, which has had a bunch of live-action adaptations, Uzumaki, um, uh, uh, sorry, Chikashitsu, I think, is, is one that was well-known. Um, I know I've seen um, Dissolving Classroom, and that was, that's pretty, pretty dark. So, yeah, quite interesting um, to see what will come out of his, um, uh, that anime adaptation of whatever it's going to be. Certainly good to see adaptations of, you know, well-known people doing interesting stuff in, um, uh, in the art world. Um, moving on to another kind of interesting thing. Um, is this the right thing? I think I've got the wrong thing. I think I skipped the thing. I skipped the thing. Hold on. Castle Cagliostro. So, TMS Entertainment released a video revealing that it was going to be streaming the Castle Cagliostro in, in the United States this fall. They're calling this the first theatrical release of the film in the United States, although there was a limited streamline uh, release, a release by streamline in uh, theaters back in 1991 when they dubbed it, uh, which actually I really like that dub. But, I mean, I, I don't think it was a really a, a I mean... Depends on how you define theatrical release, right? This is the 50th anniversary of the Lupin the Third franchise. <laughs> it's been around a long time. And uh, this is, so it's a Lupin the Third film famously directed by Hayao Miyazaki. And it's his first directorial film debut. 
So that is kind of why it's a big deal and why it's cool that we're going to get a, a full release of it this fall. Um, it's been released several times on VHS, DVD, and Laserdisc. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm not thinking of the Streamline uh, version. I'm, I'm thinking of the Discotech release. That's the one I have that I really enjoyed. Anyway, so um, one of the cool things is the Castle of Cagliostro was remastered back in 2014 over in Japan. And they're using that remastered version for this release. So if you like the film, um, this would be a good chance to go see a really, really nice, crisp version of that film. And this is one of those films that really would benefit from that kind of a, a release schedule. Uh, or that kind of a, you know, remastering. So here's hoping you all can all go out and see it. Um, some other anime news um, of a new uh, anime coming out. Uh... There's going to be a spin-off, uh, th so there, there's a spin-off of Little Busters called Kud Wafter, I'm probably mispronouncing that, and their developer, Visual Arts, has announced that they're going to try to crowdfund an anime adaptation of it, so they're going to launch that crowdfunding campaign July 18th, and if it's successful, JC staff will work as the actual anime studio. Um, this is interesting because it's trying to actually crowdfund an anime series, not just a promo video or you know a short film or something like that. It's going to be interesting to see if this actually goes anywhere. Little Busters uh, came out about 10 years ago. Um, it's actually celebrating the 10th anniversary um, of the original visual novel, and so hopefully it will actually work out. Kud Wafter is the 8th uh, adult visual novel by... Key, aka Key Visual Arts, um, and uh, Little Busters itself had its own um, uh, anime adaptation back in 2012 and then 2013, um, uh, a a sequel uh, plus OVA and so forth and so on. I believe there, there the TV series are available on Crunchyroll, so you can get those there. That's pretty cool, and um, what's also uh, interesting is. Um, they are planning to release the Little Busters visual novel on Steam. So hopefully it'll be available for you to actually play in a legitimate, reasonable way, which is kind of kind of interesting. Finally, a an odd story this week. Uh, more news about a sequel to the irresponsible Captain Tylor. Uh, I hesitate to call it a franchise, but it was an anime series, an OVA and TV series. Um, which came out in the 90s, pretty popular back in um, in the day, and then kind of, you know, dropped away. But there's a new spinoff uh, anime series called um, Irresponsible Galaxy Tylor, and it's pretty cool. Um, it's based on the original novels that that were the uh, uh, that Tylor was based on. The characters here, though, are even farther in the future than in the original Tylor series. So it's a sci-fi series about a similar premise, guy and a girl thrown together, and the guy is weirdly lucky. And it sort of explores all of that. No, you know, nothing goes as planned, as they describe it in the synopsis. Um, several idol group members will be playing the main parts, and it will, they'll also do the uh, anime's opening theme. Uh, the director, Hiroshi Kimura, will be uh, helming this over at Animation Studio 7. Uh, he was also director for uh, Danchi Gai, which I'm not too familiar with. Um, Haitai Nanafa, which again, I'm also not familiar with. Oh, Hamatora, you're probably familiar with that one. Um, and worked on a few other things. Oh, he directed Recorder and Rancel, which is a fun, cute little ONA. Um, other things he's worked on as episode director include um, Sword Art Online 2, Utubai Ramono, let's see here, um, some Initial D, Galaxy Angel A, Final Fantasy Unlimited, some Fairy Tale, Dance in the Vampire Bun, Chobits back in the day. Um, so, certainly a lot of experience in a lot of anime um, over time. Um, and just digging into those, so yeah, that's, that's cool. Good to see that, and who knows. Um, so, yeah, more Tylor after all this this time. Kind of surprising. But anyway, that's the news for this week. Thank you all for joining me. See you next week.